This is a stimulus and social security update. Got some important updates to share with you. Medicare and social security insolvency is on the horizon, but there are some changes that could help. Guest prices hit five month high and some are saying that it could go back up to $5 per gallon, $400 checks going out in nine days to certain Americans. And the jobs report just came out for March. I'll let you know how that is and give you some other important updates as well. Hope you're having a fantastic Friday. If you appreciate the fact-based, fast-paced updates, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel down below. All right, so job growth totals 236,000 in March, near expectations as hiring pace slows. So uh, according to some payroll or uh, uh, labor department reported on Friday that payrolls grew 236,000 for the month compared to Dow Jones estimate for 238,000. The unemployment rate ticked lower to 3.5% against expectations that it would hold at 3.6%. So basically on point with expectations and not as bad as it could be. Uh, moving on, stimulus update, direct payment worth up to $400 to be paid to Massachusetts residents in nine days. So uh, this is recipients of, the, of a food and utility subsidy program going on in Chelsea, Massachusetts, and uh, nine days before their next payment for the program. So that's going on in Massachusetts. And then gas prices hit five-month high. Uh, could they hit $5 per gallon again? So the national average gas prices reached a five-month high Wednesday, surpassing $3.50 per gallon for the first time since November, following Saudi Arabia's decision Sunday to drastically cut oil production. And as analysts warn, rising oil prices and high demand threatened to bring prices back toward record highs last summer, though at least one analyst doubts they'll return to the dreaded $5 mark. So the... the um, According to Gas Buddy, following a 10 cent spike in price over the past 10 days, uh, though gas prices are still 65 cents lower than they were a year ago and more than $1.50 off their all time peak last June. The jump in prices comes three days after a group of oil producers, including Saudi Arabia, Algeria, Kazakhstan, Kuwait, Oman, and United Arab Emirates, announced plans to cut up to 1.15 1, 1 million barrels of oil per day starting next month, lasting through the end of the year, throwing a wrench in the already volatile international energy market. So we're seeing just the first parts of or the first reactions to this big uh, announcement of oil being cut. We haven't even had the oil cut yet. So it looks like gas prices might go high. Some say it could even go to $5. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that. And then insolvency is on the horizon for Social Security, Medicare funds, expert says. These changes may help. So latest projections for Social Security and Medicare show two of the three major trust funds may be insolvent in the next decade. Lawmakers may consider a host of changes to resolve those issues from raising taxes, cutting benefits, or both. Experts weigh in on changes, uh, what changes would be on their wish list. So <clears throat> what we're hearing here is a few different changes. Just to sum it up, what they're saying is that they could cut the benefits which means people won't get as much, raise the age, which means people have to retire at a later age, or and, and or tax people a lot more or tax the wealthy in order for this trust fund, the uh, Social Security Fund, to not go insolvent. So Social Security's Old Age and Survivors Insurance Trust Fund, which covers benefits for retirees, their spouses and children, and survivors of deceased workers, will be able to pay full until 2033. At the time, just 77% of benefits will be payable. So 10 years, uh, it looks like it'll be like a 23% cut. Uh, so I'll keep you updated on that. When it comes to the economy and jobs and the best way to create jobs and have more jobs for, uh, you know, for, for Americans, take a look at what Bernie Sanders has to say. We have invested tens and tens of billions of dollars to rebuild our crumbling infrastructure. Okay. What does that mean? That means in my city, if you go drown the streets, you know, you could lose your car in some pothole. Uh, 
you have streets and roads all over this country in need of repair. We have water systems, wastewater plants, airports. We have an infrastructure that needs an enormous amount of repair. Congress, uh, a year ago, passed the largest infrastructure bill uh, in the history of the country. Now, I'll give you an, an interesting story. If you talk to my governor of Vermont, and we're a small state, we got $2 billion to rebuild our infrastructure. It's a lot of money. You know what he tells me? He says, Bernie, we don't have the workers to do the work we need. All right. So what do we have to do? What we have to do, first of all, is make sure that all of these jobs are good paying union jobs. But second of all, we got to train young people to be able to do that work. All right. I learned this recently. I did not know it. Maybe you don't know it. Right now, if you got out of an apprenticeship program and you become a plumber or an electrician, on average, you're going to make more money than a four-year college graduate. You know that? All right. So there's an enormous amount of work to be done in America, rebuilding our infrastructure. We want to address the crisis of climate change. All right? You know what that means? We've got to transform our energy system. That means we've got to put solar all over the place. We have to have new types of transportation, new types of agriculture. An enormous amount of work needs to be done. So right now, one of the challenges that we face is to develop the kinds of programs. So if a kid in high school who's good with his or her hands, get them the training, give them an income while they are in school, give them the training so when they get out, they can have a good paying job. Raising the minimum wage, strengthening unions, those are all the ways that we can go forward to make sure that every person in this country earns a living wage. What are your thoughts on what Bernie Sanders has to say? Do you agree, disagree? Let me know down in the comments below. And that is all the news that I have for you today to hopefully cheer you up a bit. Here's my daughter Bella's tip of the day. Oh, hi guys. Hi guys, this is Bella, this is the tip of the day. I want to tell you the one thing you should do. Remember when you were a kid, you always used your imagination in your mind. It's called, that's why it's called imagination imagining what you're thinking about and remember that when you're a kid you use your imagination for like anything like movies you watch the movies you imagine yourself with it you may sometimes when you when you when you're watching cool movies use your imagination to do the same thing if you want and also, can I tell you something? I watched the movie, and, and now I'm all about it. And now I'm Ghostbuster. I, this this one you shoot, you shoot out, you shoot at light, and it, and it and makes the ghost disappear. And this one, you 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 tap it like this, and and it makes you disappear, make the ghost disappear. So that's all I wanted to tell you. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate all of your support. Since it is spring break week, Bella just had a sleepover last night. Going to pick her up in a little bit uh, over at her friend's house. So uh, no school this week. Uh, so yeah, having fun and uh, doing some more garden stuff. Hopefully you have a great rest of your day. If you want to check out any of my other videos, you can click right up here. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Be safe. Thank you for watching.